Get it, beloved. Do you know one of the precious promises that God made to us who are heirs of salvation? Is this, that we are saved from His wrath. <clears throat> now, many people take that as being that God is not only saving us from His wrath, but He's also saving us from the wrath of man. And that is not a promise in the Scriptures. The Word of God says that we will have much tribulation on this side. Tribulation by man is nowhere near the veracity of the, the, the wrath that comes from God the Father. We will be saved from the wrath of God, even as Noah and his family were saved from the wrath of God, even as Lot was saved from the wrath of God when God's wrath fell upon Sodom and Gomorrah. He was saved from the wrath of God. Now, the Word of God says in the ninth verse of Romans 5, much more than being now justified by His blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through Him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. We are saved by the life of Jesus Christ. Not simply from the fact that he died, but the fact that he rose again. You and I will be saved from the wrath of God. And as the word says, much more then, we are justified. Glory be to the living God. Dearly beloved, we are justified. In other words, we are not condemned. We've been brought before the courts of the universe. And before those courts, we have been justified by the blood of Christ. And we shall be saved from the wrath of God through the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why you hear believers speak of the rapture. The rapture is there for us. Yes, and that one day will take place where there will be a catching up. But it will be right before the wrath of God fall upon the earth. Now people believe that nuclear annihilation by one country against the other, that God will take those people out before that happens. Dearly beloved, nuclear annihilation is not the wrath of God. It is a punishment, it is a judgment, but it is not the wrath of God. The wrath of God will come from heaven, even as it came upon Sodom and Gomorrah. And the Lord declares, and Paul writes here, that we have been saved from that kind of wrath. As the word, the word says, next time, rather than a flood, it will be by fire. And as the word says, uh, for if we were enemies, which we were to God, before we were saved, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. The death reconciled us unto God. Amen? Glory be to God. Much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. His death reconciled us to God, connected us with the possibility of coming to God. Now, his life, his living now will not only do that, but it will also ultimately save our lives. So dearly beloved, we are saved from the wrath of God, but not necessarily saved from the wrath of man. Amen? Praise be to the living God. The Lord bless you and keep you this day.
in Jesus' name.